I knew before we ever descended out of the Beartooths that we'd be back. I had plans to visit a lake in the high country I'd been told contained golden trout that have thrived there unadulterated since their unintentional transplant from the Sierra nearly a century ago. Nervous and it smells different out here. Reaching the lake would be hard. Accounts of the hike were discouraging, and those who'd made it warned that failure to pack light could be disastrous. We had 40 pounds of camera gear on top of already overloaded packs, and it took us nearly an entire day to gain some 4,000 feet over six and a half miles. Hey, bear. We were absolutely exhausted, but could hardly contain our excitement. We'd come a long way from our little home in Massachusetts. Reaching this lake somehow seemed like the culmination of everything we'd experienced on our adventure thus far. We were there, alone, with one of the rarest species of trout in one of the most beautiful places we'd ever been. I took the opportunity while I had Amy trapped on the top of a mountain to ask her to marry me. Sparing the sappy details, as a snowshoe hare and a lake full of fish are my witness, she said yes. And as our first act as a newly engaged couple, we spent the next day discovering that golden trout do, in fact, eagerly take dry flies. <laughs> 